Good morning. Welcome to the fourth day of the 30 Days of Wellness for Greatness Challenge. I am so excited that you are continuing with me on this challenge where we are turning routine into habit. We want to have good habits so we will have a healthy and fit body. And we are looking at a meditation infused scripture meditation daily hydration nutrition exercise and rest affirmations today i have a bonus for you i am re well before i go into the bonus let us go into the word and the scripture, we are taking the scripture, we are continuing on love. And the meditation is 1 Corinthians 12. I'm going to read it from the Passion Translation. And it says, but you should all constantly boil over with passion in seeking the higher gifts. Talking about uh, the gifts of the spirit. And now I will show you a superior way to live that is beyond comparison. And it, that is the last verse in chapter 12. And it goes on to tell us the superior way is the way of love. And we really want to uh, love as God loves. First, we love ourselves. We are loving ourselves by taking taking good care of our bodies and then loving those around us and loving the difficult ones. And one thing that I want you to take with you today is that think of love as a fragrance. Love is a fragrance. And as we uh, put on love, when people pass by us, they get, just with our actions and our graciousness, they get a, a whiff of the fragrance of love. And love never fails. And love could change someone's, you know, bad behavior. They, they, they are rude or uh, they might be unkind, but you just pass with a fragrance of love. They might, oh, Love could melt that hard heart. Just as how we put on fragrances in the natural, let us put on the fragrance of love. Loving, loving those who are close to us, loving the difficult people, and, uh, and loving, loving everyone, loving every single person and you cannot do that on your own we could only do that by god's love the help of the holy spirit and what and what the fruit one of the fruit of the holy spirit is love so so even as you begin your day and you you focus in on putting on this fragrance ask the holy spirit to help you because you can't do it on your own, especially loving difficult people. And we want and we make a uh, we want to make a declaration today. Today I choose to love even the most difficult person because the love of God is shed abroad in my heart. Make this declaration with me. I choose to love the most difficult person today because the love of God is in my heart and the Holy Spirit is helping me to love that person. The second thing that we want to go in, but I'm, uh, instead of the water, we know water is important for hydration. Yesterday we had uh, water with uh, ginger infused. Today, you could try a, another uh, way of drinking water by putting aloe 
in your water. And we know aloe is a cleanser. It's good for the digestive system. It's good for the gums. So you get, you know, uh, about two inches of aloe and you put it and you blend it in about three cups of water and you drink it. You could add some more warm water to that and you drink it first thing in the morning. You're hydrating with something nutritious in your water. I, you know, when I was in California, I learned that anytime I go, anytime I travel, I, uh, uh, especially far away from home, like, you know, in another state, I, the first thing I like to do, I like to, you know, just find out where are the health food stores, where I could get a good, um, nutritious green drink or smoothie. And I found that in this part of California, when I would go for my green drink, before I have my green drink or smoothie, uh, the owner of the, the health foods bar, or, or it was a bar, they would give me uh, uh, a shot of aloe in uh, lemon juice, you know, diluted lemon juice or diluted um, apple juice and before I had my drink. And I thought that was such a good idea. So I grabbed it and now I use that from time to time. So you could infuse your water with aloe to get a cleansing, help with digestion. Uh, aloe is great because not only for the inside, aloe is great for the outside. Now I promised that I have um, a bonus for you. And today the bonus is, this is, you see it's like a shot glass and I make tonics. And this is a tonic that um, is, is, the tonic is made of turmeric, ginger and lemon juice. I choose one lemon. I choose about um, uh, maybe two, uh, one ounce of ginger, one ounce of turmeric, and I blend it together and I take a shot right after my water in the morning. And this is good for your immune system. You know, we are in, in the flu season. Uh, the pandemic is just uh, going, but we still have to boost our immune system. So the ginger and the turmeric and the lemon is a great tonic and it's very easy to make. I will follow up with the recipe in on my page. This is, this is a bonus. <laughs> the second thing that I am doing today is a bonus of a second recipe. You notice that I, each day I have like a list of the meditation, the water, the nutritious drink, uh, the affirmations and exercise. On that page or the flyer, you have a recipe for the kiwi and banana smoothie. The bonus I'm giving you today is a pineapple um, smoothie. And in here I have um, what a, a cup and a half of water, a coconut water. Then, and it's a very easy smoothie. And then I'm gonna add a cup of pineapple. And then I am going to add a third cup of unsweetened yogurt. Now, and then some ice. The pineapple already is sweet, but if you think that you would like a little more sweet, you could put a tablespoon of raw honey. And I say raw honey, not processed honey, because processed honey is not good for us. The raw 
honey has all the nutrients in it, the B vitamins. And you could always add to your smoothie. I want to give you some suggestions for adding in your smoothie. You could add ground flax seed, which is loaded with omega um, trees. You could put that in your smoothie. You could also add collagen, which is good for your joints, it's good for your skin, it's good for your nails. Uh, so as you start your morning, you're starting your morning with something nutritious. Some people could go with this alone, um, and you could add some protein powder to that. It's building, building, building nutrition. But we want something healthy, and the pineapple regulates the thyroid. The organ today we are looking at is the thyroid gland, and the pineapple has vitamin C. It uh, it contains an enzyme that produ produces, um, you know, it has bromelain, and it it produces an enzyme that you know just keeps parasites out of your body. So bromelain helps to digest protein and it also helps uh, the, uh, to regulate your thyroid and, it, and the pineapple fights inflammation in your body. So we wanna start with something fresh, the pineapple. We have the yogurt, which is unsweetened yogurt. I got this from a, a farm, a local farm. There's no additives, it, there's no sugar. A lot of our yogurts these days, they, they are loaded with sugar because of, they put in the fruit in it. And when you read at the back, it's about 23, sometimes 23 grams of sugar. We don't need all that sugar. So this contains uh, unsweetened yogurt and we have the coconut water as a base which is uh, full of potassium and magnesium so right there we have a, a nutritious drink so let me just put on my um, blender And we have a, a delicious drink to start your day. And you can make it thicker if you want. Some people don't like it too thick. This, I, and when you add the collagen, when you add the um, flaxseed, and if you want to add some protein powder, it could thicken it. So, but I'm just showing you the, the basic, and you could add what you like. So you have a nutritious drink before your breakfast. And as always, we lift up our drink before the Lord, and we ask Him to bless our bread and water and move all sickness from our bodies. And today we, we, we are praying for the thyroid. The, uh, the thyroid gl gland produces hormones and it, it affects a lot of different body functions. So we want to keep our thyroid healthy and uh, there are certain foods for the thyroid. Well, but I, I would not go into that today, but we're going to discuss that in another day. But a, a, a pineapple is one of them, and it's, it's going to help regulate your thyroid. And we want to make an affirmation. My thyroid is producing the right amount of hormones to keep my body functions regulated. We know the thyroid 
it, it, it affects a lot of body functions, your heart rate, metabolism, bone maintenance. So we want to uh, pray over our thyroids, thyroid gland. We want to declare that it is working and is producing the right amount of hormones to keep my body functions regulated. And we drink to divine health. Delicious. You don't, e you don't even have to add the, the, the honey. The, the pineapple is sweet enough. You have the coconut water and there's a tangy taste from the pineapple. And you have, there you, you have a great habit. You have a nutritious drink daily. And the bonus today was the tonic. We put in all these things together to create good habits. And I want us to close today as we always do, I want this to be second nature, that you confess after me, I am a wonderfully whole woman because you, Jesus, the wonderful one, listen to me. You're doing wonderful things for me, in me, and through me. Signs and wonders are following me because I believe. Do you believe that? And you will see great things happening. So the, the next few days are gonna be on the road and I will be coming on live just to show you how you could do things while you're traveling. So look out for my uh, live um, videos. It's, it's gonna be short, but I wanna share some tips with you or you could travel and stay still, maintain a healthy and fit lifestyle. So be blessed. I'll see you on the fifth day of our challenge.